Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mara and in this video I will be showing you my top 10 fictional books of all time and I believe that I made a really good selection. If you'd like to see my recommendations, just keep on watching. I made it top 10, so let's just start with the 10th book in the list. It's called Lessons in Chemistry. In this book, there are so many good life lessons, especially in the side of feminism. There's a woman in this book and she wants to be a chemist in the 80s, 60s even. It's really hard to be an independent woman in those times and this woman goes through a lot. I loved reading it, so. Ninth book is called Malibu Rising. I love Taylor Jenkins' read. I've read all of her books and this is one of my favorites. It's a really good summer read. It's just a really good story. It just keeps you in the in the flow. You just start reading and you don't want to leave it. It's one of those books and yeah, the author makes those kind of books. You cannot actually leave it. You just want to finish the story right away. And when you finish it, you it leaves you with a satisfaction. I don't know how to put it in writing terms or like literature terms, but her flow is really smooth. <laughs> the way she writes is like butter. <laughs> you can easily visualize what's all about and it's like a movie, but it's a book, but you feel like you're in a movie. It just gives you that effect. Malibu Rising is like such a cute, good summer read. I love the story and I highly recommend it to you. The eighth book is called Where the Crawdads Sing. Again, it has a really good story of a little girl who has to grow up by herself and I don't want to give out any spoilers. So, this is the book. The one is called Big Little Lives. You probably heard this one because this is really popular. It's even made in series in HBO and there is I mean, a Turkish version of that series. There was a murder or a tragic accident happens. Someone is dead in this book and you don't know who that is even guess who was that. Kind of fun. <laughs> a good mind work. Okay, this one's called Sharp Objects by Jillian Fillin. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It also has a series on HBO. This one was a thriller, <laughs> if you cannot tell from the faces. There was a murder in this book again and uh, yeah, it was a really good plot twist at the end. Oh my god, I found my ex-boyfriend's card in here. This one's a really good book too. One of those creepy ones, you know, like it's really suitable for fall. I like seasonal reading. In the fall time, I like to re read some creepy stuff. In summer, I like light reading. The other book is called Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This one was also a really popular book. I saw people reading it. And she is a best-selling author, that's what I can say from her books. It's again Taylor Jenkins read or write, I don't know how to read. Really inspiring for a woman or a man. Okay, there are seven husbands in the book and it's like, it's not gonna be like never giving up on hus on love or husbands but it's like a journey of a woman life is not actually about those things like materials it's just like an emotional journey it takes you through and as a woman i really enjoyed reading reading the journey of evelyn hugo somehow it was so motivating but nothing is about the husbands in here you're gonna understand what i'm trying to say as we're getting to the really good ones right now okay i don't have this book but i'll just give you the cover here it's called verity by colleen hover colleen hoover or hower she's a really good writer as well but verity is the creepiest book i've read yeah creepiest while i was reading it just gave me the jump scares every now and then can you imagine? It's like give you that feeling really strong. I remember feeling like, oh my God, this book is so good. Like the feeling got me say that out loud. It's gonna make you feel satisfied at the end. If you're feeling like going on a journey and uh, try to keep your heads away from some things, that's when I read fictional books. Like I feel like I'm stuck in life and I'm 
trying to stay away from my responsibilities i always go with the fiction books and it's just like takes me to another universe when the author is really good and if the book is really good i live in there for a second and it just like makes me feel refreshed reset let's say verity was a really good one <laughs> third book is cold leaving time by jody picard picole i don't know how to pronounce it but this one see it's a huge book it just keeps you locked in until the very end and at the very end is a plot twist you never can guess you never can say what's going to happen to you when you finish this book it was like such a big plot twist and it was like so good really well like well put let's say like super smooth you know you cannot tell that it's right there in in front of your eyes but it's there it's not even a spoiler you cannot tell what's gonna happen at the end it's just like shocking but so good it's like a masterpiece guys i feel like it's impossible to put down until the very end and at the very end you're gonna leave like shocked face i had that and i've, I've i remember making noises like Oh my god huh what 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 on earth i have this urge to share this feeling with people but actually i had no one to like no one to read this book until the very end like it's not until the very end they did not even start it because it's like too long i don't have much friends who's been reading fiction reading at all so i felt really lonely so if you read this book Please hit me up to chat about it. it. Could make you scream, it could make you sigh, it could make you. <gasps> yeah. So good. Oh my god. This one, the second book, is called The Silent Patient. I've never seen a plot twist this good. It's just like, you cannot tell. You cannot tell at the very end. But. You should tell. It's like a two-sided story and it just like becomes together at the very end. You'll be like, Jesus Christ, yes, yes. That's what happened to me. <laughs> Thankfully, there was this Turkish version of this book and I just like gave it to my best friend and she has read that and she has the same feelings with me. There's a murder and uh, there's a patient, someone, a psychiatric patient but she's not you cannot say if she's sick or not but she has seen a lot she's been through a lot within the murder thing and you cannot really breathe by the shocking effect of this book so please please read it and it's just like takes you to another world you cannot see it coming you don't see it coming yeah let me just read it a little alicia is the character of the book alicia branson lived a seemingly perfect life until one day six years ago when she shot her husband in the head five times since then she hasn't spoken a single word it's time to find out why you're gonna know why when you finish it oh dear alicia i just want to reset my memory and read them all again okay the first book i gave it to one of my friends and I hope he's going to take good care of that book because that was my favorite book ever. It's gonna stay like that. It's called Daisy Jones and the Six. I'm gonna put the book here. It also has a series that I have watched four times. Memorized all the little details in the series and the book also. They're a little different than each other, but like, it's not really different. Daisy Jones and the Six, I'm just going to tell you about it a little. Uh, Daisy Jones is an artist, is a budding young artist. And uh, there's this band called The Six and uh, their paths go on to murder in LA. Um, and yeah, there's love in this book. There is passion, patience also music music daisy is a musician 
singer also the band is trying to make good music and they're trying to be the make a really good hot band in their time it's also in the 70s it's so good and the series is going to make you feel nice um the reason why i put that one in the first place is like it gives you a lot of joy within music writing music and putting the emotions into music and the songwriting and how it becomes together at the end and there are a lot of emotions in life i'm trying to not to give any spoilers out but like a love does not have to be happy it does not make you happy all the time but you can use the love and pain the heartbreak and anger as a motivator in life and it's just going to take you places because it's such a strong emotional state that's what love is in my terms like a hurricane of notes music and emotions and love and faith you see a lot of faith in that in the daisy jones and the six it makes me emotional okay i really like you to read that one too that's my number one fiction book of all time okay guys that's the end of the video thank you for watching i'll see you next time have a lovely day bye bye